back to the video on the channel. In this episode, we have this. Bang. This is the Logitech MX Master 3. So, on first impressions, this mouse may seem a bit ridiculous. It's expensive, like, really expensive. For a mouse, a hundred pounds, 100 USD. Why would we pay a hundred pounds for a mouse? But after using this for a week or two, you can kind of see why. All right, it's time to hack into the one and only Tech RS, AKA Charlie. Let's see what he's up to on his computer. This kid is extremely smart. I think he's using a sonic firewall, but it shouldn't be a problem for a trained hacker such as myself. All right, let's see if I can get into his webcam and see what he's up to. Okay, this is kind of creepy. I do not recommend you guys do this at home, but this is Charlie and I do know him. Ooh, I like this kid's taste. He is using the same mouse as myself. The MX Master 3. Well, that was a fun little intro. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. My name is RJ and Charlie asked me to come on his channel and talk a little bit about the MX Master 3, my favorite mouse of all time. So allow me to break down why I love this mouse so much and how it really helps me speed up my workflow, especially when it comes to editing videos and getting them out as quickly as possible. Just like Charlie, I also run a tech channel, which will be linked down below for you guys in the description. So if you are interested, you can check me out at RJ Tech. So the thing about the tech niche on YouTube is it moves at such a fast pace. And if you want to stay relevant, you got to put in the work on the daily and little things like the MX Master 3 really help speed up my workflow so I can get these videos out as fast as possible to you guys. It is a laser mouse, so you can use it on almost any surface. It's extremely portable, so I can use it in a cafe, in a library, and sometimes, believe it or not, in my car. The ergonomics of the MX Master 3 make it super easy to handle and you can use this for many hours without feeling any discomfort in your wrist, which I think is worth the price of admission alone. To really aid in my creative process, mainly for Final Cut Pro, I have some mouse shortcuts set up. So I can just fly through my timeline making the necessary adjustments like cuts and deletes and this has made my workflow so much faster. This button right here naturally rests on my right thumb. So I have that set up as Command B which is a shortcut for cutting my clips. And the button right below that is set up as a delete shortcut. So I can just whip through my timeline deleting and cutting clips. Usually it takes me about half an hour to get through editing the talking head, which is what I'm doing right now, and another three or four hours to film and edit the B-roll. So yeah, if you guys want to see my more in-depth coverage on the MX Master 3, I did make a full review over on my channel, so check it out if you guys are interested. With all of that being said, thanks so much Charlie for having me on your channel. It's been a huge honor, and don't forget to flex with your tech. Thanks so much to RJ for coming on. That was a really fun intro to make. If you guys haven't seen RJ already, he has an amazing tech channel. I love watching his videos. He has nearly 10k subscribers now, so if anyone could help him out, I'm sure he would highly appreciate it. And he's just an absolutely excellent YouTuber, so I'll leave his link in the description. Make sure to go check him out if you haven't already. But yeah, let's get right back to the video. So, I'm going to start off with my pillars of a mouse this time. Usually I do my pillars of a smartphone. If you've seen any of my smartphone reviews, you know that. And so, we're going to start off with design. Design subjective as I always say but this is a really nice design I think personally if it just slots into your hand it's really really ergonomic and that's where most of the points of this mouse are going to come just from the design and so it's got this rubber matte texture at the bottom and it's really grippy really nice really comfortable to hold over long periods of time it doesn't really hurt your hand or anything like that and it's just big enough for my hands to fit and not scrape the table you can see my finger comes over a tiny bit there if I'm palming it a bit more like very hard palming then it does sometimes scrape my finger across the desk. The Logitech MX Master 2S was a bigger, more chunky mouse because I had a wider body, which means that your hand would not really be able to touch the table that easily. But on the MX Master 3, that is one of the problems I found with this mouse. If you're leaving your hand further down the mouse, then you should be able to grip onto it really nice and that's what I really like about this mouse is the grip texture. It's a very nice fit for your hands and it just slots in. It's a really nice and natural feel to the shape of this mouse and it's very intuitive uh, to use and once you get to used to it it's an absolute dream. It does not hurt at all over any period of time and it's just a really really comfortable mouse. If you didn't know Logitech uses this technology called Hyperspeed. Uh, that's their scroll wheel brand. Uh, they have Hyperspeed TM and basically that is one of the main selling points of this mouse. It's got a hyperspeed scroll wheel and these scroll wheels are absolutely magical. It, ju it just feels amazing. I'm not like, I'm not gonna lie. It's just something else. If you've never tried one of these out, you may want to try one of these out because it is quite a big improvement 
over the 2S, even though I never had the 2S, but I've just seen many reviews on it. I kind of gathered all of the different opinions from them and I've just compared it to the 2S. But from this mouse, it is a massive improvement. This feels a bit... It's got a weird cheap feel to the scroll wheel, but this feels very premium. Uh, this is all done it's got like a new mechanism so it's electromagnetic actually so like you've got your phone vibrations you can't pick motor in your phone this is what it feels like it feels very robotic but it feels quite nice as well like it gives like a nice little shudder uh, but it, it's not too harsh and it's not too light and so that kind of explained the scroll wheel part of the pills of a mouse Speaking back onto the design. This is in the graphite color and it is the Logitech MX Master 3 for Mac uh, They haven't got any different colors for any different OS's don't worry if you're a Mac OS guy or if you're a Windows guy You'll get the same color variants. So there's no discrimination there, you know stop discrimination and on the bottom This is almost polished plastic kind of feel it's a gray finish and it feels really nice So even on the bottom it feels really nice this mouse is just a really really nice and premium feeling mouse overall and this kind of brings us to the functionality i've already mentioned the scroll wheel which has that really nice robotic electric magnetic kind of feel hyperspeed it's called and this applies to many apps so you can change it from this mode which is the hyper hyperspeed so this is more of a traditional scroll wheel where it's got the little stops so you can feel kind of like the pressure but if you click this button again it is a free spin that's what they call it so there's ratchet mode and there's free spin this is free spin so it's a very nice glide uh, so if you need to do like excel documents you basically switch to free spin and then you just scroll all the way to the top and it's very good for like large files or large web pages just to be able to get to the top of the page dead quick so yeah we got the free spin and then ratchet is what i've already told you guys about it's like a couple steps so it's that classic scroll wheel but that's not where the scroll wheels end there is another one on the side and that is the side scroll wheel the really defining factor of what this makes this an mx master mouse and not just a regular logitech mouse is this side scroll wheel and the side scroll wheel is very very useful if you're doing a video editing this comes in very handy and it's just a really pleasant experience just amazing and you can program that to go faster and slower in software but i'll talk about software more later and we also get a gesture button which is a button that is near your thumb so you can see on the back behind me i have final cut pro and also audacity open which is recording the audio for this video and if we tap this button which is the gesture button it will go into mission control which allows you to see all of your apps that are open so you can see we've got final cut there and we've also got audacity there this basically comes in really handy if you just wanted to switch between apps very quickly very seamlessly and so you just tap that gesture button we're also app expose and stuff like that if there's any apps running in the background you just gotta um hold that gesture button and drag down so yeah it's a pretty useful command if you think you're ever gonna use it personally i don't really use the gesture button that often but it does come handy when you kind of need it or you kind of want to use it because i've got a mac mini so i don't have a trackpad there's not really any gestures i can use to get mission control open so just having that gesture button comes in really handy and it allows me to switch apps a lot quicker all right and now we're going on to one of my favorite features of this mouse and that is the programmable buttons so i'm going to link this with software because these two really need to go together Otherwise, not really much point. So when you guys get this, make sure to download Logitech Options. It's basically Logitech's customization software for your mouse. And it allows you to control all aspects of this mouse. So there's going to be some pop-ups that come on your screen. You just have to allow them. Otherwise, it won't be able to connect to your device. After you've done that, the Logitech MX Master 3 should show up there. And then you can start customizing it. I really enjoy programming these buttons to keystroke assignments, which you should be able to find in the menus. I was stuck on this until today. And then I found out how to do it. And this mouse is just been amazing now i was a bit worried i could not find where to put this but i was just being an idiot and it's in the menus very clear just go to keystroke assignments assign any buttons and now it's an absolute beast of an editing mouse and it's just speed up the workflow a lot so these programmable buttons come in really handy and they're not too far to reach they are actually pretty easy to reach especially over the mx master 2s it would be very hard to kind of reach back to where it used to be as it used to be where the led indicator on the mx master 3 is now uh, so yeah you have to reach pretty far back on that old mouse now we get the buttons right next to where your thumb sits so they're really easy to go out and reach and the speed up the workflow immensely and with logitech options you can customize pretty much everything from your scroll wheel speed to your programmable buttons you can even have you can have the scroll wheel and the side scroll wheel doing different things if you don't like what they're already programmed to be doing and you can have the mouse wheel click programmed to do something as well so it's a very customizable piece of software i think as owners of the mx master 3 really appreciate the customization logitech has made here and obviously this would not be a mouse video without the click test
No, but seriously, I will actually do a real click test now, and you'll be able to see why I like the scroll wheel, free spin mode, and also the click. So that should be coming up on your screen right now. So here's the click test. So the second to last category I want to talk about is battery life. So if you guys didn't know already, this is one of the best features of this mouse. This mouse lasts 70 days on a charge. And if you charge it for one minute, you get three hours of use, which I just think is amazing. So if you're on the run and you just want to plug this mouse in dead quick, you get up to three hours of use in one minute of charge. And also another improvement from the 2S is USB-C charging. So that's how it accomplishes that really fast charging. And it's just another factor as to why this may be the best mouse for creatives. So the final category we're gonna talk about here is connectivity. So I had a bit of a trouble connecting this to Logitech Options, but it was because I was being an absolute Nimbus and it's just right there in front of you. People ask me to help them with tech all the time and I can't even pair a damn mouse through Bluetooth. So that tells you how much of a genius I am. But yeah, connectivity, all you need to do basically is just allow and then enter in your password um, for Macs and then also on Windows you should just be able to click allow and then Logitech will just be able to get onto your device. They're a very reliable brand and you know they won't ever put any malware onto your device. I mean I hope so. Uh, <laughs> And so the connectivity here is really nice. It just pairs pretty much instantly. You don't really need to do anything. It just comes up on your machine. Once you turn once you turn the on button on below the mouse, it, you have to turn on an on button. I mean, it's not a big deal. Um, and then that should just be able to pair to your machine and you just click it in the menus and there you go, you're set to go. And in Logitech options, you just click allow and you're into the software and you can program anything and customize your mouse to its full potential. All right guys, so here it is. This is the final conclusion. Do I like this mouse? Absolutely, this mouse, it's just amazing. The speed you're able to get just from having this mouse, you know, programmable buttons, you get the side scroll wheel, means that I've not got to always drag and then try and, yeah. Honestly, Final Cut is really annoying like that. You Once you drag and you go into the side, it like absolutely zooms ahead and you're like five minutes ahead of where you want it to be. And then when you try and go back, you go like 10 minutes before where you want it to be. Uh, so just having that side scroll wheel to get some nice precision is always very appreciated. And the gesture button comes in pretty handy when I need to use it just to get into mission control. And the scroll wheel, well, the scroll wheel is just amazing. And the design, the ergonomics, it, it's just an absolutely excellent mouse for all the reasons that I've said in this video. And would I recommend it? Yes, very much so. It is an absolute excellent device for creatives. While it is very expensive, it is worth the money if you're actually serious into doing video editing and other things like that. And I would very much suggest it if you have a friend or cousin or brother or family member who is into like video editing or creative work and you want to get them something for Christmas or something like that, then I think this is an absolutely excellent mouse. It's quite expensive, but if you want to be a master, got to get this mouse. See what I did there? MX Master. But before we end off the video, I really want to mention a, another mouse, which is an alternative for creatives. It's cheaper, and it's still from Logitech, and that is the Logitech MX Master Original. And so my dad picked this up, and he actually is really enjoying it so far. He likes the scroll wheel, which is on the side. You can, uh, basically the same as the Logitech MX Master 3. It's just a bit smaller, so a lot of these features that are on the MX Master 3 are toned down on the original MX Master because they've improved over generations. This was released in 2015, I believe, so they've had five years to improve and they have on the MX Master 3. But yeah, we still get the gesture button, the programmable buttons, the scroll wheel. It's not quite as nice as on the MX Master 3 because it has this weird sounding click and it's just a bit cheaper feeling, um, as well as it's not as, like, smooth the scroll. It's 
it's not a silent if you hear that so yeah the scroll wheel isn't as good and neither is the side scroll wheel just because it's uh, shorter and smaller but you still get the programmable buttons and while they're not as good as the mx master 3 as well just because they are further back and harder to get this mouse pretty much gives you all the same features as the mx master 3 just toned down a little bit and it's literally less than half the price so uh, this might be a good option for anyone who's not as serious but you still want a really good mouse for the price and the mx master 1 original is still an absolutely excellent machine a few problems are that it's micro usb charging over usb c so you don't get those really fast insane speed charging and also i don't think the battery life is good the programmable buttons are harder to get back to as well the side scroll wheel is uh smaller so it's harder to reach but it's still a pretty decent size to be honest and the scroll wheel isn't as satisfying but if you're not really bothered about any of that or you just want to you know save an extra bit of cash because it's an expensive mouse the mx master 3 then the mx master original may be a very good pick for you but yeah guys that's been the logitech mx master Three, where is it? That's been the Logic MX Master 3 in 2020. I think it's the best creative mouse on the face of the earth. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This has been Tech Oros. This has been the Logitech MX Master 3. And uh, catch you next one. Bye bye.